Hey everyone, a number of years ago in London I saw a sign in a pub warning about thieves operating in the area and after I was asked to pay about £7 for a pint I realised they must be standing behind the bar. However, this week saw a violent crime wave epidemic in London coming to world prominence as the city overtook New York's crime rate. As with many other problems in London like the cost of living or the mostly lacklustre performance of the football clubs in the Champions League, there are lots of underlying causes, but sticking to crime for now, anyone being interviewed about it on the television will likely put it solely being down to too little money going in or there being too much immigration. And actually a lot of football fans would use those two excuses as well. In the US though, London's crime wave is being portrayed as a Second Amendment issue, You know, the underlying problem supposedly being that people are banned by the tyrannical government from literally bringing a gun to a knife fight. Every advocacy group likes to give its own spin though. Some members of the SNP will probably put the blame on there being too many English people in London. And I'm guessing that in the coming days the Green Party will almost certainly produce a chart showing a perfect correlation between rising crime and rising levels of atmospheric carbon. Of course in London itself the mayor is saying absolutely nothing because of his upcoming council elections and he thinks that keeping out of the media spotlight will probably play better than admitting that he's presiding over the crime equivalent of a burst sewer main. For what it's worth, I'd say look at Camden or perhaps Shadwell. Both areas seem to have been largely unaffected by the upspike in violent crime in spite of having huge immigrant populations and less money to spend than one of those fools who got into Bitcoin at the wrong time last year. Here's an idea though, perhaps the problem just can't be summed up in a soundbite because it's quite nuanced and quite complicated. You know, It's like Ocean's Eleven rather than Jaws Eleven. Getting all the guns and knives off the street is a bit like getting all the anti-Semitism out of the Labour Party. It's not going to happen anytime soon and certainly not while Sadiq Khan is too busy playing Candy Crush Saga and getting out and doing some work. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.